because Autry can do a little bit of everything. This is his stutter bull right here. So he's over Quentin Nelson right here, kind of in this, this loose three technique alignment where he's basically almost a five technique, but he's rushing over the guard. Talked about this with Grady Jarrett in the last video. This is meant to create space um, to get the guard out in space, that is, um, which is usually not where guards want to play. So that's kind of the idea here. And you could see it force Nelson to expand. And Autry's going to give the stutter bull, right? Or the stutter stab bull, whatever you want to call it. But this little stutter bull rush has been a, a devastating move across the NFL this season, honestly, from a variety of pass rushers. But I think it's one of Danico Autry's, if not his best move as a pass rusher. Look at this stutter bull against Andrew Norwell. I mean, this is just vicious right here. Three technique. Look at this stutter bull against Joe Tooney. Perennial all pro guard. Penetrator on an ET stunt. So we've seen him on three different stunts right here. Here he is crossing the face of Andrew Thomas. Sets him up with this long arm. Long arm, kind of a club swim. Creates a lot of disruption in the pocket right here for Daniel Jones. Andrew Thomas is in his lap. He's stringing stuff together. Stutter. You see uh, Reisner right there throw his hands right there, trying to elicit a response. Doesn't really work. Autry doesn't fall for it. Does a nice job of kind of unlocking his hands with the forklift right there and then dipping and ripping and almost getting a hand on Wilson there. But again, that's a sack for Rashad Weaver because of Danico Autry. But Autry is just one of those guys that you love to have on the defensive line. He's an elite number two. I think that's probably the best way to kind of frame him as a player if you have a bona fide stud and you add autry to the mix chances are you're gonna have a good defensive line